for a certified PMP. So guys, we have Muhammad Wasim Abbas with us. Muhammad Wasim Abbas joined us in batch 13 and surprised me with his report that he cleared PMP. So now this was a fascinating news. Whenever any friend of mine kind of surprised me, I just love it. So Wasim, thank you all for giving this beautiful surprise. So let's talk about this. Wasim, this is your journey. Share it in any way you like, please. Uh, first of all, I thanks to my Allah Almighty, and my parents and Mr. Ramir also who motivate us. And I joined Mr. Ramir on batch 13 and uh, my friend referred me actually to Mr. Ramir take lectures from Mr. Ramir and uh, I joined batch 13 with Mr. Ramir. I attend each and every video from Mr. Ramir. He, I, I watch his journey videos. I follow his roadmap. Whatever he instruct us, I follow. So for my opinion and my suggestion to all of you, just follow the roadmap what Mr. Amir sharing with us. And solve the questions, solve the presentations, solve the any exercise what he is giving us. So if we follow this one, we can clear our PMP with ease. Okay. So let's talk about this thing. When did you plan to do PMP? When you made your mind, okay, I need to give this PMP. Actually, I made uh, my mind in uh, for the PMP in November. Uh, once I got the lectures from you, but I, when I was enrolled to you, and uh, after my lectures completed, I was any implementing your techniques to myself as a servant leader. Whenever I am doing my exercise, my questions, I am supposed to be me that I am a servant leader and this scenario I applicable on myself. Beautiful. And I do yeah. the same yeah. thing. Yeah. You implemented that thing in real life. That's the point. Yes. Whatever you give us uh, material, I implement in my real life when I was working. I implement the things on my work uh, uh, as well in reality. And after that, Alhamdulillah, I'm PMP now. Okay. So uh, walk us about the exam. You gave exam in center? Yes, I select the center. And this is interesting for me also, because if you remember, I consult from you that only the slot available on the, uh, in one week. And you asking me about, pro about progress. But there's one my friend, Mr. Mubashar Kursheed. He pushed me. He said, book your exam. If you book your exam, you will take the pain that you spend the money. And then after that, you will study hard, study smoothly, whatever you want. So before uh, my, my exam was held in 13 December and I booked my exam on 11th December because I found only 13 December slot and the rest of month is not available the slot. So I booked my exam. I even did not notify it to you because if I notify it to you, you say you ask me what is progress, what is the marks, uh, marks uh, and a score percentage, etc. So I did not uh, tell you. So that's why I want to give you a surprise because I'm hundred percent sure that I can do it this one because the techniques you uh, teach us I implement in my real life. Okay. Okay. So let's put it this way. So you are in Saudi Arabia right now? Yes, I am in Saudi Arabia right now. Okay, you are in Saudi Arabia. Where in Saudi Arabia? I am working in uh, Eastern region, Al Hassan. Yeah. Which city? Jeddah, Riyadh, Damascus. Al Hassan. Al Hassan. Okay. There is a center there, or you drive to the center? Actually, when I uh, when I take the coaching from you, I was in Jazan, Jazan refinery. And okay. after that, my office promote me and he take me back from uh, from Jazan to Al Hasa, and I book my exam in Dhamam. So Dhamam is near for me. Okay, Dhamam. So you book your exam basically in Dhamam. So how yes. did you manage the exam? The first ten minute. Then what was? How did you manage 60-60 question? Please elaborate. Uh, yes. 
Uh, be honestly, the first part I did in two hours. What? what, what? The first Probably. 60 questions. The yeah. first 60 questions I did in two hours. Okay. okay. This because the question is too much lengthy. Every question is coming four to five lines. I implement the technique, what you taught, uh, teach us, the eliminating technique. But so, the problem so, is this one. Yeah, the first 60 question you did in 120 minutes, right? Yes. So you are left only with uh, one 10 minutes, right? You went 10 minutes? Yes, the last is, 60 question. No, no, I... no, wait, wait, wait. I'll come to that. Now suddenly this will become more interesting for me because uh, you yeah. never asked me and you were in a mess there. So why you took too much time? Please explain that. Actually, I told me I take too much time because it depends on the question. Every question coming me four to five lines. I want to implement this eliminated uh, elimination technique also. But the problem is that the scenario from start to end, they are no stop. And the last uh, sentence, what I was read, what should project manager do? So what I did, I write this one first and I read all the possible options. After that, I uh, read all the questions and I attempt the question like this way. So this needs too much time actually for me because some question I am not sure about because the option is similar. And even the uh, answer is also too much lengthy, one on one, one line also. So this happens with me. So that's why I take too much time for the first half, first portion. First, first 60 question then? Yes. After the second, the same scenario, but I did Alhamdulillah 70 minutes, 7 to 80 minutes. But the last question, even, only even, 40 even, minutes I left. Yes, yes, even you did the second one in 70 minutes, you only had 40, 50 minutes left. So how did you manage yes. The last question, 40 minutes, the same thing happened with me, the question is lengthy, but the same technique I applicable, the last and the last sentence I uh, read first, the option read first, and I do the question in, immediately. And you cannot imagine that software tells me on my last question that you time out. Okay, okay. So how many, so you are able to complete all questions, right? Yes, I complete my all question. The last 180 question, the software, because I choose the question, I'm only reading the scenario. The, uh, the software tells me that you have time out. Okay, so, but you are in the last question. That's an interesting yes. thing. That you have reached through that does not matter. So yes. what, what were you feeling while giving the exam? Well, actually, when I finished my exam, uh, they wrote the congratulations. No, 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 no. Well, no, no, not, not when you finished, during the exam. Well, honestly, during the exam, I'm 50-50. I'm thinking in my mind, uh, if I fail, so what should my friends say? What should what should my goal say? Because why why I enrolled for the PMP, I did not achieve for this one. And I said maybe I will come next time. But uh, the second one might say that no, you will do it inshallah because you saw all question like you are project manager, and this scenario happens with you. So you did your best part. So inshallah you will do. <laughs> when I finish, and they said congratulations. Okay, that's that's an awesome feeling. That I really loved it. How you explained. So the question was uh, like, how many mocks you did from those six mocks? Uh, two mocks only. And how many? The shortage of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 50, 50 questions. How many you did? Fifty fifty question. I did all. You did all. And what was your score all. in those uh, areas? Fifty fifty question. My score areas ninety plus. And only three, four questions I did wrong. In the mocks, first mock, uh, unfortunately, I have below 50. But the yeah, second I mock... Remember, uh, I remember very well when you did the yeah. first mock. I said, what the hell you did? Yeah, because you were yes, getting definitely. a very good score in the uh, questions. And suddenly, your score was uh, very, very low. I remember your first score was first mock 57. Yeah. 57 yes. was your score. Yes. That was the lowest yes. score I have seen anyone in yes. the 
first mock so what you did then after my first mock i review all my question and i feel that where i was a weak and why i was a weak so again i review my all uncorrect answers and uh, i implement second mock and uh, in second mock i take 75% accuracy okay okay so Vasim, let, me, let me share your screen over whatsapp communication it is very interesting so how basically okay. this thing went so you can you see here so he put it that i will do mock on 5th of december he shared the result of this and i asked him please do detailed root cause analysis he shared uh, whatever the reason he was then i asked him he said i will do the second mock i said okay go for him then he did not reply did not reply so he asked me to take sps you explain him so those things went then i asked him the update he said i will do second and third mock then okay so he asked me can i book the exam and my question was have you given the mock 2 at 3 because you promised me i will do so he said i will try my best so then i asked him okay what is your preparation on saturday i asked him what is your preparation plan he did not reply on sunday he did not reply and on monday he replied me with this thing wow this was fascinating from you wasim this was thank you amazing the way you did it so wasim can you explain your exam which area was the most highlighted area of the exam in exam as you shared with us the people stakeholders communication and some question from schedule cost i did not see any question in the exam and business analysis only okay okay that is a interesting thing how you worked into that okay any formula question no no formula question my all question on my, uh, even even they did not ask me which process belong to this one even the okay. i prepare my i please go ahead actually uh, even i the exam day i repeat my study again and i refresh my mind and even i go procurement first because conformance and non conformance and sometime i mixed up sleep but in the exam i did not find anything that this course is conformance or this course is conformance and the course epis pi like this one every question what they give to me is only scenario based what project manager should do okay but the last okay. question the last question is only 180 question they give me scenario and ask what type of communication this one this is only this is only so how much relevant those two mocks those two mocks that you did how much relevant they were the real exam they these two mocks really helped me a lot i i should say 95% these mocks helped me so at doing root cause analysis how much that helps 100% help. that is a important thing okay yes okay. Uh, Vasim, you are advised to PMP aspirant, the aspirant that are preparing for PMP exam. What is your advice for them? My advice to them that trust yourself, motivate yourself by yourself. No one can do. If you are enrolling yourself as a PMI in the PMP exam, just do whatever you can do and become and behave like you are a servant leader. And this thing happens to you. the same if you did this one if you implement the in the real life you can do easily you are saying that no one can motivate you i don't motivate no from for the inner inner yani from our self yani you also motivate definitely <laughs> definitely without your motivation how can we do your so, techniques re- your techniques really help a lot so really what do you do what do you think about those follow ups how relevant they were those follow ups how were relevant they were yeah, be honestly your follow up is very strong and sometimes i feel ashamed that i, I did not reply to you because of my work even yeah, i that is one I, of the purpose I, that is one of the purpose of follow up to uh, make you guys feel ashamed and maybe because of that ashamed you start studying yes so yes is, 
whenever you text me or see what is the progress i am in, i was in the refinery i am i'm thinking what should i reply to mr am i didn't i did not do anything if i say i did not do anything maybe you will say some good words to me how so this thing any yani also will motivate us that if mr ram will send us a message share the progress what should we answer so i answered you many times that sir i was in refinery i have a, i had this problem this problem i already communicate with you but sometime i i did not able to reply you because of the work but alhamdulillah i implement your techniques which you teach us this really help a lot okay okay thank you thank you very much for saying thank that thank you so much i really loved it now the same you know there are students in your batch that us that still need your help so you you know my uh, thing that each one teach one it's your goal uh, you should help those people who have not done pmp you should assist them in becoming certified project management professional you should teach your teammates you have shrikant you have other people all of we have rizwan we have uh, shrisha and other people uh, who cleared the uh, pmp from your batch but now you 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 are the like the one who cleared last in your batch now you must help them each one teach one secondly i want you to write down the pmp questions the question exam like question because you spent two hours in the first 60 question maybe something like that that can help the pmp aspirant how we can work on to that and finally today is friday and today is a off day in saudi arabia go and eat some good biryani have a celebration <laughs> actually in friday also i have one work because from september to march we have a peak season in our company and okay. we have no breaks even uh, today i have no break but i bunk my work and come back here okay okay so okay whenever you have time then celebrate <laughs> definitely definitely sir definitely thank you vasil thank you very much thank you thank so you. much sir best of luck assalam alaikum assalam